So while this project really sucks, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. If you're more comfortable hitching it up and taking your camper somewhere and having somebody do it, hats off to you. Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Wait. Today we are doing the dreaded project, the one I hate the most, and that is resealing the camper. Uh, replacing all the sealant, all the silicone sealant, all the way around the camper. We're not gonna do the roof today, that's gonna be a, another topic, another video for another day, because we use a different sealant for that, and I'll get into that down the road. So, and, and I actually don't mind doing that as much as I hate doing this project. So what we're going to do today is replace all of the sealant, scrape away all the old sealant, all the old silicone, and we're going to replace it with this, the ProFlex RV uh, sealant by GeoCell. I've been using this stuff for about two years now, been pretty happy with it. It's a lot better than just regular silicone, which most of these campers um, come straight out of the factory with. And we'll touch base and, and talk about why I prefer that sealant versus using regular silicone we'll talk about what we use on the roof even though we're not going to get that in today while we have to scrape it off what we have to scrape it off with the cleaners and just the whole process of resealing the camper now this project while i hate it the most and i dread doing this it's really just a pain in the butt it takes a long time it's kind of messy i'm just going to be honest with you not a fan of this one i don't think anybody is but it may be the most important project that you do. This is the one that keeps the water out of the camper, the, all the water that you can see, keeps you from getting soft, saggy floors and water in the walls. And uh, honestly, I'd rather do this project than have to replace my floor uh, a year or two down the road. I did a majority of this project about two years ago when I first got the camper. A lot of the silicone sealant was cracking, kind of peeling, fading away. So I went ahead and removed it and I replaced it with the ProFlex RV sealant. Now the cool thing about the ProFlex RV sealant is when I go back to do it today, any place that I have it, I can just go back over it with the new uh, sealant. Unlike silicone, silicone won't stick to silicone. In fact, nothing sticks to silicone. Even the ProFlex RV doesn't stick to silicone. That's why you have to remove the old stuff first before you apply the new sealant. Now, if I have some areas that still look good from two years ago with the ProFlex RV, I'm just gonna go right back over with the ProFlex RV sealant. Now, it has been uh, a few places actually over two years, maybe two and a half years, and I do have some cracking and fading, which if I can get two and a half years out of a sealant on the side of the camper, I'm totally happy with that. But if it is uh, peeling, cracking, or coming off where I can just pull it off by hand, I will go ahead and remove that as well and put a fresh new layer on. It doesn't make sense to go over it with a new layer if the old layer it's going on top of is just going to peel off anyways. Now this stuff has been pretty highly recommended. You're going to see it on a lot of forums. You're going to see it on the Facebook groups. A lot of people are going to talk about it and uh, rightfully so. I've been really happy with it. It does have a lot of advantages versus just regular silicone and we're going to dive into those here in a minute and talk about um, why I prefer this. Okay, so the ProFlex RV sealant right here, this is the uh, clear. You can get this in clear, white, black, almond, different colors. Obviously, um, I just prefer the clear. It's probably gonna go on the best and hide the mistakes and anything like that. The great thing about this is it has excellent expansion and contraction um, for the joints to withstand all the movement in the joints, which obviously in an RV is gonna be really important. That's something you want. This has better adhesion than silicone. It seals up nicely, obviously. It creates a nice watertight bond, uh, prevents water from getting behind it and any of the joints, and that's exactly what we want. So it has great flexibility. Uh, it's UV resistant. It's also mildew resistant. And one thing I'll notice, and I'll show it right here, the old silicone that I had, it's starting to get mildew and mold spots all in it. And you won't see that with uh, any places I've put this. So that's a great thing about this. The, another thing is I got, again, it bonds to itself. 
The downside is it wasn't bonded with silicone, so I can't just put it over the old silicone. I do have to remove the old silicone like we talked about, and we'll get into that process in a minute. The ProFlex RV, you can use this on aluminum, glass, steel, wood, fiberglass, but you cannot use it on the roof. At least you cannot use it on the new TPO roofs or the EPDM roofs, okay? So for that, what we use is the Alpha System Self-Leveling Sealant 1021. You can use this self-leveling sealant. You can use the Decor self-leveling sealant. Any of those products are fine. Just make sure you do not use this to seal on your roof. It is not compatible with the material up there. And I have another video where we talk about RV Maintenance 101 and all the maintenance I do monthly and yearly. I have a spreadsheet in that video. I talk about all the products, everything we do. I'll put a link to that up over here and we get into this project a little bit. And I will have a video upcoming in the future because I have to get up there and do the roof. It's time to do that and inspect it and uh, recalk the roof and seal it. And that's a video for another day. But for today, I just wanna make sure that you do not use a ProFlex RV on the roof, just so we got that straight. If there's maybe two downsides, one, it's not made to be used uh, indoors, I guess because of its odor. And two, the shelf life on this product is only about a year. So you don't want to stock up on them and buy 12 of these and have them sit around because the shelf life of it is, well, only recommended for one year. Don't know what happens after one year, if it just goes bad, if it, you know, just dries up, if it doesn't stick well. But just a heads up on that, just, you know, I would say maybe two to three of these will get a 40 foot fifth wheel done. That's usually about how many I have. Usually get the whole project done with that. Okay, so a few other products we're gonna need for this job. We're gonna need mineral spirits. And this is gonna be so that we can smooth out the sealant as we put it on. You can use mineral spirits or you can just use a bucket of soapy water as you put the bead of sealant along with the gun. Uh, I just like to take a little bit of this, put it on my finger and just run it along and kind of squeeze it into the crack. And it makes a nice kind of professional look. Another item you're gonna need, WD-40. Well, I don't recommend this for too much. I'm not a big fan of WD-40. I don't use it for too much. What I do use it for is removing the old silicone. Now, I just put mine in a spray bottle here and I'll just spray it onto the sealant or the caulk and let it sit for just a few minutes. I kind of have a towel ready. I don't let it drip down. I just kind of wipe up the excess, leave it wet for a little bit, and then I get to uh, scraping the old sealant off. Speaking of scraping, these are the two scrapers I use. Mainly I use this plastic scraper. It's a lot safer, but there are areas where I do need this little tip right here to kind of dig down into the corners and get the old silicone out. And this does, this isn't sharp enough to where it's, it's not gonna scratch your camper. I wouldn't use this on a painted uh, RV. On the fiberglass one, it actually seems perfectly safe. I've been using it today and just running it along there real soft. And this edge has actually been getting the old silicone up real nice and easy. It hasn't been scratched, scratching the camper. Just use common sense when you use it. There's a place for this. There's a place for the plastic one where I use it the most. And last but not least, make sure you got plenty of rags. I got a bag of these rags right at Lowe's. This was like $3 for 10, 12 of these rags. These are going to come in handy for cleaning up as you go along. After you use the WD-40, after you scrape it all off, you wanna clean it all up. That's when I go back with the mineral spirits. After I've removed all the old sealant, I take the mineral spirits and I just clean up the whole area and let that dry before you put the new ProFlex RV sealant onto it. The whole idea about this project is the preparation that you do is gonna pay off dividends down the road. Making sure you remove all the old silicone, making sure the area is clean of any dirt and debris, using the mineral spirits to clean it up, letting it dry, and then putting your new sealant on. Um, it takes more time than just slapping a new coat on, but if you want it to last, if you want it to work, uh, the preparation on doing the process correct is, is huge, and it's gonna pay off down the road on this project. Okay, let's uh, hop out of here, let's get out in the sun, and let me just go ahead and show you how we kind of do this. Okay, you guys can see some of the old uh, stuff right here. You can see it flaking up. So that's definitely what we want to remove. I mean, it's just peeling off right there. We're just going to kind of spray it with the WD-40. You can let it sit for a little while. Just take a plastic scraper. Just put a little pressure on there. Looks like it comes out pretty easy. Yep, it doesn't take too much 
muscle to get off. Some of it comes up when it's not so cracky. Some of the silicone comes up. You can just peel it off in one long strip. This is actually the ProFlex RV from about two and a half years ago. We're taking off here. Now I won't do the whole camper. It's a long project. It's a tough project. I'll do it in stages. And, and when I did it two and a half years ago, I did the majority of the camper. And now I would say about every six months to every year, somewhere in there, I just go around and inspect and see what areas need to be done. But I would recommend going around Finding the problem areas, definitely inspect all around your camper, inspect the seals all the time. You'd be surprised, it does not take a big area for water to seep in and just constantly get in there. You can't figure out why the floor is sagging, why the walls are bubbling, and one of the worst things is uh, delamination on the outside of the camper with your fiberglass, and that is something you definitely don't want to happen. So if you want to protect your investment, you want to take care of your camper, you want it to last, we all know water is the biggest enemy inside and outside. Um, we run a few dehumidifiers inside in high humidity areas to keep the humidity and moisture down in the inside and you want to protect the outside as well. Keep that water and moisture from entering your camper. That's what's going to ruin these things. It's the number one biggest enemy. As you guys can see, it's as clean as can be. We got all the old ProFlex RV off and even I think even had a little bit of silicone left under there. And we're going to take our mineral spirits. We're just going to wipe that down, clean it up real good with the mineral spirits. And we'll be ready to apply the uh, new bead of caulk, new bead of sealant along there. Be good to go. So another thing I recommend getting is a good uh, caulk gun. And I recommend getting one with a stop button. So when you're done, the stuff, you know, sealant stops running everywhere. But we cut just a small tip off up here definitely don't want to cut too big of a tip you definitely don't want too much product coming out it gets too messy too hard to work with you want just a thin little bead that's all you're going to need and so after you take your finger with the mineral spirits and go out over it and push it in okay so make sure you have your mineral spirits or just a bucket of soapy water that's going to work too have that standing nearby in a rag going to run a thin bead along here I'm working in small sections maybe about two foot sections take our finger by the way if you guys are liking the video so far don't forget help us out hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you guys always get notified when we have new videos coming out every sunday get some of the mineral spirits on your finger and just kind of work that in there it just kind of leaves a nice professional look to it when you're done if you have any on the wall, if you just have a little bit extra that you don't like, you can just kind of put the mineral spirits on there and just kind of take a little bit of extra off if you need to in a few spots. Seamless look, hopefully last another year or two before we have to do it. As you can see up here, I haven't removed any of this yet. This is the old silicone that's in here and that still has to be taken out. Okay guys, so here we are checking it out the next day. It's had overnight to dry. You can see it's nice, clear, uh seamless finish it, it all dried up real good it looks nice and good all that mold is gone and you can see how we did over here so it's all sealed up with the proflex rv real nice job no water is going to get in there it came out real nice looking I'm, I'm happy with it it's not the funnest job in fact it's not fun at all i'm not going to sugarcoat it i dread it when i need to do it there's just something i absolutely hate about doing that project and as you guys know, if you watch our videos, you know, I like to do projects. I like preventive maintenance. That's the key to keeping these RVs, you know, trouble free from major issues. But when it comes time to do this one, it is not fun. Listen, this is an Americal uh, Kiro product that you're just never going to have to do this again. You're probably hopefully get maybe two good years out of the ProFlex RV sealant. And that may be even depending on where you're staying. If you're out in the desert or Florida constantly, the summer heat may just bake it even faster than that. But overall, I have actually have been pretty happy with the uh, product. And that's it. Um, feel free to reach out if you guys ever have any questions in the comments down below. As always, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. And hey, get out there, start your full-time adventure. Because, well, like we say, why wait? See you guys.